Coming up on this week, you've seen the word call used on the university's website and calendars. We'll explain just what call is. Just who is LSU Eunice? We'll take a look at some interesting demographics of our student body. If you are interested in Louisiana history, the Ledoux Library will be the place to be as Michael Martin talks about his newly published book. And stay tuned to learn how you can win this shirt just by hashtagging a picture. Hi, I'm Alexis, and welcome to This Week at LSU Eunice. Call is a commonly used term on campus, but many don't know what it is. Adley takes a look. Call is a joint initiative between the Board of Regents and the Southern Regional Education Board aimed at making it easier for Louisiana students without college degrees to enroll at a Louisiana public college or university and earn a degree. Call stands for Center for Adult Learning in Louisiana. It's a program organized by the Louisiana Board of Regents targeted to people 25 years or older who want to go back to school and get a degree in an, uh, accelerated online formats. The courses themselves are accelerated. Um, there are different uh, time frames for the different schools participating in call. Currently 11 public institutions are part of a call offering strictly online degrees. LSU Eunice joined the call program in its second year, offering an associate's degree in criminal justice and an associate's degree in fire and emergency services, all online and accelerated. If you can take more than one class in call A or more than one class in call B, one of the nice things about the accelerated format is the quick feedback time in the courses themselves so that you learn the material, you take your test or you write your papers and the response comes back fairly quickly. You can also take blocks of classes within a semester. So if you need to take, say, English 1001 and English 1002, you can take the English 1001 in the Call A session, the first part of the semester, and the English 1002 in the Call B session in the second part of the semester. You can take, of course, more than one uh, session class at a time. So when a student is scheduling classes and sees a session A or session B listed, they need to know that these are accelerated online call classes and the date of the eight-week sessions are listed next to the session letter. Everything in the call program at LSU Eunice is delivered online. As a matter of fact, all the services you will need as well as a student are delivered online through our web page and through various media. There is no reason you should ever have to set foot on the LSUE campus. The call website offers students an online assessment tool that measures a learner's readiness for an online degree. Back to you, Alexis. Thanks, Adley. For more information, please contact Dr. Elliott at 550-1390. The Transition Advisory Team of LSU 2015, the effort to make a single statewide LSU, met for the fourth time this year on Tuesday. The team heard subcommittee updates and heard Ohio State University President Dr. E. Gordon Gee. He is widely considered one of the most highly experienced and respected leaders in higher education, having been named Time Magazine's top 10 university presidents in the country. LSU Eunice's enrollment data is out and we thought we'd take a look at just who our students are. For the spring semester, the university's Institution Research Office is reporting 2,897 students. There are 1,600 freshmen on campus and over 600 sophomores. 582 students are unclassified students. The long-time trend continues with women outnumbering men on campus more than 2 to 1. There are 882 male students at LSU units compared to 2,015 females. Students 20 and younger make up the majority of the student population. 1,587 are 20 years or younger. There are nearly 600 students between the ages of 21 and 25. And 148 students are over the age of 40. The average age of an LSU Eunice student is 23.53 years old. Caucasians make up nearly 70% of the student population, while 696 African Americans were enrolled in the spring of 2013. Over 1,000 students are registered in a liberal arts degree program, while 994 have one of our four allied health fields listed as their major. More students are part-time, meaning taking less than 12 credits, than full-time students who take 12 or more credits during the semester. Now, let's take a look at some important upcoming dates.
The Ladue Library will be hosting author Michael Martin at noon on March 15th. Martin is the co-author of Louisiana Legacies, Readings in the History of the Pelican State. Martin's book was published in January and combines the best previously published articles and essays on a variety of historical topics. The volume covers material ranging from colonial era interactions between Native Americans and the first European settlers to environmental history of the state's southern wetlands. The Campus Activities Board will host its fifth annual talent show at noon in the Acadian Center on Wednesday, March 13th. Be sure to check our students showing off their talent for a chance to win prizes. The Lady Bengal basketball team finished their season Saturday night in a dramatic fashion. The girls put up a show with a thrilling comfort behind win, 77-74 over Southern Shreveport. Lita Palita Pulu tied the three-point record with nine baskets in the game and seven which were in the second half to lead the team's comeback. Although the season is over for the Lady Bengals, the work starts all over again for the coaching staff. Well, now that our season's over, we start our off-season program, and that means that all our girls that are coming back are going to get into great physical condition, improve their skills, and then we're going to hit the recruiting trail now and bring in the right pieces to fit around the people that we're bringing back so we can be a more competitive team and win our conference next year. Baseball remained tied atop the NJCAA Division II polls with Western Oklahoma. They dominated a play against Kellogg Community College in action this past weekend. The boys beat Kellogg 4-2, 11-2, and 11-1 in a three-game series. They'll host Northeast Texas and Mississippi Gulf Coast this weekend. Softball continues to roll, defeating Copiah Lincoln College and Muskegon College to remain on a 17-game win streak. The longest streak in school history is 20 games, set back in 2011. The Lady Bengals are just three wins away from tying the record. We caught up with the softball outfielder Cody Covington. This season, our team's bonding really well. We have a great chemistry on the field and off the field. Um, right now, we are 17. We have a 17-game winning streak, and we are 22-2. And we leave tomorrow to go on a big trip to Florida and hopefully come back with a win. That's it for sports. Back to you, Alexis. Thanks, Matthew. Miss LSU Eunice 2011 has won the coveted Louisiana Queen of Queens pageant at the Louisiana Association of Fairs and Festivals annual convention. Erica Beck of Destrahan beat out 71 women representing fairs and festivals throughout Louisiana at the pageant that featured interviews, evening gowns, and on-stage competitions. Beck is now a student at the University of Louisiana Lafayette, majoring in business. As Queen of Queens, Beck will attend festivals, fairs, and other special events throughout Louisiana. She also will meet with state officials to promote tourism and her platform, Book Buddy, which she participated in while here at LSU Eunice. Beck hopes to get together a few festival queens once or twice a month to visit different elementary schools to read to elementary students. Now, how would you like to win this camouflage LSU -E shirt? Here's how to win it. Follow us on Instagram. Take a picture of your favorite place to study or relax on campus and hashtag it, Bayou Bingo Contest. Only pictures hashtagged before March 13th will be eligible. Next week, we'll feature our favorite photos and pick a winner of this shirt. That's it for this week at LSU Eunice. We'll be back next week with another look at what's going on around campus.